What up, family? This is Big Q chiming in with you, bringing you TS Saints 2020 linebacker room breakdown part number eight. For the linebacker group for the New Orleans Saints, it's just been a matter of health. The most consistent linebacker the Saints have had over several seasons now is Demario Davis. Demario Davis continues to step up. This past season, he should have had a Pro Bowl night. It disrespected him yet again. He finished the season with 111 total tackles. 87 of them was solo. He had four sacks. He had 11 and a half tackles for losses, 12 pass defenses, and even had a pick. He is the major piece of the Saints interior inside of the middle of the defense that makes it all go. If Demario Davis has, if he hasn't brought anything to the Saints, he brought, uh, he solidified the central parts of the Saints defense. He has been an absolute stud. It's been a major disrespect that he has not been uh, chosen for a Pro Bowl appearance, but he is clearly the best Saints linebacker of the past several seasons, no doubt about it. His intensity, his determination, his focus, his leadership is one of the key reasons that the Saints defense continue to be more impactful going into the season. Now, DeMario has one season left on his current deal. Hopefully the Saints can get a deal work. Moving on to the next linebacker situation behind DeMario is that a guy that has a lot of pressure on him, on his shoulders to carry the day. And of course, he's had several injuries for one of his shoulders and he will have to show with that one year left on his deal that he can be the guy the Saints think he is. Alex Anzalone is that person that I'm speaking about and Alex Anzalone, when he's on the field, he's impactful, severely impactful. The issue is injuries, make it and stand on the field. As far as Alex Anzalone is concerned, played in two games last year and finished the season, ultimately with seven total tackles. He had one sack, and one tackle for a loss during the season in just two games. According to various reports that's out there is that he is definitely ready to play. He is ready to contribute to the team. So we'll see just how well and how effective a guy like Alex Anzalone could be because the eyes are on him moving forward. And hopefully that shoulder can stand up as the Saints move into a potential Super Bowl year. Alex Anzalone is a major part of this happening. He has to be there, he has to be healthy, and he has to contribute on a high level. The Saints in the draft this year picked up third round draft pick Zach Bowen out of Wisconsin. And he is something, 6'2", 238, 240 pounds, very fast, wirely, high football IQ. The guy has the ability to also situational pass rush. He can play the pass for you. The kid has a high motor uh, who, who will come in and play a huge role for the Saints in this upcoming season. I believe that uh, that he will more than likely be the third linebacker and he will contribute uh, for the Saints team in that regard. The only free agent linebacker that the Saints did bring in in terms of an experienced linebacker is Anthony Chiquillo who comes over from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, Chiquillo is a guy that the Saints picked up and they believe that he can help them in many ways. I think this, this could spell doom for Craig Robinson, who the Saints have been trying to get rid of for the last several seasons. But Chiquillo's big, 6'3", 255 pounds. He does have the ability to situational pass rush as well. He can put his, his hand in the dirt and get after you. He had nine solo tackles last year and a half a sack. Not really great production for Chiquillo, but what he will bring to the Saints is a high energy a high motor high energy linebacker who has a lot of potential even though we'll make mention of kiko alonzo kiko alonzo is a guy who, who redid his deal and has a really cheap deal he wants to stay in new orleans the saints like kiko alonzo who can who's a very heady very intelligent player who can make things happen for you he's just 29 years of age 6'3 240 pounds out of oregon a former second round draft pick who by any measurement is a very impactful player but he's had these wretched injuries over and over again the saints believe in him they're going to shelve him in four until the deep regular season where he'll be able to come back but 25 solo tackles last year is pretty much all uh, kiko alonzo had and it'll be interesting once he finally makes it back off of the ir or the inactive list what kind of role will kiko alonzo play in the saints linebacker room now moving forward 
We're going to talk about Craig Robinson next. Craig Robinson is a guy that a lot of people love and respect for the Saints. He's been here for the last several seasons. He has an infectious nature, and everybody loves Craig Robinson. The energy he brings to any locker room is special. But Craig's 32 years old. He's in the final year of his deal. He had 20 solo tackles for the team in the sack last year, along with an interception. Craig, at this part, is valuable linebacker in terms of depth uh, for the team. If injuries occur, is it, is he has a very cheap contract and he plays special teams. He's a real help to the Saints defense. But Chiquillo is there, and it'll be interesting to see how many Saints linebackers they keep on active roster. Could be six linebackers. Does Craig make the cut? We'll find out as you know after camp. But Cade Nellis, Cade Nellis is another guy I want to talk about. Cade Nellis is a special linebacker. He was drafted with the seventh round pick last year. Last year in preseason, Cade Nellis was running the defense. He was calling the plays. He was playing sideline to sideline. Has a lot of speed and a lot of potential. Very intelligent player. Very well liked and respected player. And the future is bright for Cade Nellis. It'll be interesting to see just how well or what the Saints do with Cade Nellis because I like how the future linebacker room of the Saints are looking with Cade Nellis and Zach Bowen, Alex Anzalone, if he could shake his injury. The, the linebacker room is no longer a weakness. We have athletic linebackers that can cover tight ends, which was a weakness that this team has had for some time. Behind him, we got undrafted free agent this year, Joe Beshi out of Michigan State. Beshi was a guy who doesn't have all the athleticism that you would like of an Alex Anzalone or Kate Nellis, but what he does have is he's very heady and has the ability or the skill to be in the, the right place at the right time. He has great awareness to be able to see plays develop, to be able to stick his nose and make plays happen. This guy was really productive at Michigan State despite his, his athletic limitations, but that just goes to show you when you put tape on a Joe Beshi, you see a linebacker there and i will say this joe beshi in my opinion you know bar an injury that this kid will be on the saints team active team the final 53 when it's all said and done and i just consider him i would call him a poor man's luke keekley and i know that's a lot of praise to heap on him but i love his mentality his tough mentality and his football iq joe beshi is a guy to watch chase hansen who's an undrafted guy that the saints brung on 6'2 about 230 pounds from uh, Utah from the Utes. He was a three-year starter at Utah. All, he's very versatile. Even though they got him as a linebacker, this kid did play safety. It, then eventually they moved him from the safety to a linebacker spot. You look at some of the statistics uh, from the, uh, the year before he played. He had 100 and 14 tackles, 22 tackles for loss, five sacks, four pass breaks up in the QB hit. He had a couple interceptions as well. And he'd had some injuries and stuff to be concerned about in his in his 2018 stats, which were pretty productive. He found his way onto the Saints team. The Saints really like Chase Hansen. We'll see exactly what happens with Chase Hansen. If he can shine through the light of the rest of these guys, because he definitely has the athleticism and the size. But the issue is like how many linebackers we keep. And of course, we got Andrew Dodell. He's another Michigan State guy. He's six feet tall, 230 pounds, 235 pounds. The Saints picked Dowell up during the season. They like what he can bring. And he's an interesting uh, linebacker. So we got two Michigan State undrafted linebackers. Love this how the Saints were able to kind of, the theme is get athletic linebackers who can cover tight ends, who can be that versatile. And Dowell has a lot of potential as well. And we'll see what he can do. My opinion is he'll probably be a practice squad player. Uh, but we'll see if he can break through and show up. And then finally, to add another player to the mix, you got Gus Cumberlander, who is a defensive end by trade, but he's a hybrid type player, about 6'6", uh, 256 pounds. There's talk that you can have a guy like Gus Cumberlander if you need him to play the linebacker position. We'll just have to wait and see. But of course, the Saints always have guys who can do a multitude of different things. We'll see just how that shakes. I'm Big Q. Thank you for joining us on TSC Flash Reports as we break down the Saints 2020 linebacker room. I'd like to thank all you guys for joining us. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Please hit the notification bell to be notified for more Saint-related or football-related content from the great Saint Thank Tank. Please share the show on all your social media. Please check out our merch and links in the description section below if you want to donate. Thank you. Peace. And who that?
What up, family? This is Big Q telling you about the Pro Shop, letting you know that we have over 35 different designs on tees, sweaters, coffee mugs, smartphone cover cases, Apple and Android, pillows, wall art, bath and bedding, tank tops, all kind of products are available at the Pro Shop. So show your support at the Pro Shop. The links are in the description section below. With the promo code Stay Strong, you get 10% off at the final purchase that's right 10% off on your final purchase so go to the pro shop the links in the description section below who that perfect